love and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just pick up the camera and kind of show y'all what is going on today. It is the 22nd and I'm actually in a rush. I need to go to my dermatologist. I have my first chemical peel session. So just for some context, I already had my consultation. Um, I have normal to oily skin and I haven't been like super acne prone, but I get a lot of like bumps and pimples and all of that during my monthly and no matter what happens, no matter if I touch it or not, I get hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation. So like my problem areas are like around the perimeter of my face and they're just like super dark. Don't go away, take forever. Some of these scars I've had since honestly middle school. So I just thought I would go see a dermatologist, get something done and see what can be done about my dark spots. So like I said, I already saw um, my dermatologist for a consultation and we're gonna be doing what is called a PCA peel and we're gonna do three sessions of that and like a stronger peel on like the super dark areas of my face. So three sessions and spot treatment. I'll see if I can do some like, um, I'll see if I can get some footage of like the actual procedure getting done and of course I'll take y'all through like what happens with each session and show y'all like the peeling and all that and yeah. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. So I will see y'all when I get there. That you could just pull your hair back maybe a little bit tighter so I can make sure I can get to your full cheeks without mm -hmm. getting it all over you. Start with a toner just to make sure your face is Thank you. 
Tomorrow morning, you can use uh, the product from this post procedure kit. Uh, there are instructions in there with like a sun and a moon telling you like what to use in the morning, what to use at night. So just start that up tomorrow morning. Okay. Alright, and now I'm just going to go in with the moisturizer. to wear out of here and then here is the post care kit mm -hmm. um, so it has these products the sun and the moon tell you when you can apply them so you can wash and do the clinicom morning and night along with the rebalance and then if it's for morning SPF and this is for night it's just like a really hydrating um, you know, thicker type ointment almost. Any questions? Um, when can I schedule my next I think she said it's more three weeks. Yeah, we can see you back in six weeks. Hey y'all, so I just got out of the dermatologist's office and this is kind of what my skin is looking like right after. It's a little peeling on the edges or whatever. So they gave me this like post procedure kit and I'm supposed to use like day and night for the next couple days. I can't work out for two days, no sweating and stuff. She said not to touch my face at all until tomorrow morning. So I'll show y'all what the routine is going to look like for the next couple of days using that stuff. Hey y'all, so it is February 23rd, the day after I got my first session of the chemical peel done. This is what my skin is looking like now. It's just kind of shiny from the serums and sunscreen that my esthetician put on my face. 
not a whole lot of difference it's shiny um so now i'm about to use the post care kit that they provided and they have a face wash it looks like a moisturizer sunscreen and different like moisturizers and it kind of just tells you what to use over the next seven to ten days so yeah let's get into it natural products no scent or anything really um, yeah nothing too nothing too crazy I will just keep doing this for like a week or so I didn't ask like how long until I can like, wear makeup and stuff but I feel like I can go a week without and just to be safe but yeah I'll check back in with y'all as things progress all right y'all coming to you live very much busted and disgusted I just reapplied my sunscreen so if I look a little ghostly that's why but it's February 23rd, not a huge difference in like what's going on, but there's like slight peeling on my chin. Barely, like it's really not a huge difference, but I will keep on updated on what happens. Y'all back with another update, looking ghostly again. Uh, I have sunscreen on, but it is the 25th, about three days after since I got my first session done. There's still not a ton going on. My mouth area is a little bit darker and there's been like slight peeling. Like ever so slightly, but I was expecting sheets of skin to just be falling off at this point. I think I want my money back. Another update later in the day. This was the 25th and there was a lot of peeling around the mouth area and some crinkling on my forehead. Um... But yeah, the peeling was just mostly around my mouth because I guess that's where most of the movement occurs. It's the 27th. Just another quick update on how my face is doing. Noticeably more peeling, but not like crazy. Not to be super up close to tell, like in person. But I feel like by the end of this week, I'll be like back to normal. I'm about to hit the gym. 
and I might check back in with y'all after, see if I like notice anything after sweating. What it do y'all, checking back in for another skin update. It is the 28th, so like six days after my first session. And I feel like this is like the most noticeable, but the peeling is, I don't have to be like all up in my nose for you guys to like see what's happening. So yeah. Right here, like the place that are like noticeably darker. That's the place that's gonna be like next to go or whatever. So like I said, I feel like this week, by this week, like I would be pretty much good to go. But I will continue to let y'all know tomorrow's gonna be the last day and then I'll think I'll wrap it up from there just to show y'all like what the first week looked like. And then I'll probably do like another um, check in right before my second session. Hey y'all, it's March 1st, so it's officially been a week since I got my peel done. Just the last quick check in for this vlog. The peelings moved to the outskirts of my face and like my forehead and stuff. So I guess like some final thoughts. I'm very underwhelmed. It's not giving what I thought it was gonna give, but it's like whatever. I feel like some of the dark spots got lighter ever so slightly. But I'm hoping with like the second and third sessions, I'll see a bigger difference. I really liked my dermatologist. You saw that she was a white lady, but the person I did my consultation with was black. And, and in some parts of like my actual session, you can hear someone in the background and it was my dermatologist coming in to make sure though Sally Mae was doing what she was supposed to be doing and not messing up the money maker. So yeah, she was cool. The dermatologist was cool. My esthetician that actually like performed the peel was cool. She was nice. She gave a lot of helpful information, but yeah, that's not a huge difference. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't like burn or react negatively to any of the stuff that they gave me, like the procedure or anything. So cool. No reaction is better than looking crazy after this. So we'll see what the second and third session do. So stay tuned for those videos. And if you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.